Hello and welcome to another one of these uh, time-lapse videos. I create these artworks on my Twitch channel and you're welcome to come by anytime. It's uh, twitch.tv slash darnisart which is the same username as the one I use for my YouTube channel. Um, okay and without further ado I kind of start with a thumbnail um, or a series of thumbnails. I'm still going to be playing with most of the composition and most of the palette as we go on because it would be uh, real hard to just you know take and establish um, everything in a thumbnail I, I don't feel like you kinda have to so I kinda I kinda freeball it I don't, I don't take it too seriously Yeah, used a custom circle shape there for that, uh, <laughs> that sun. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, let's see. Sized it a little bit. But you can start, you can kind of see that it, it's forming up. Um, I've got sort of a, a sunsetty mood going, kind of like an epic sort of environment. It's got rocks, it's got mountains, there's... There's a sun, uh, a dead tree. There's going to be more trees where that came from. Um, it's just working on the rocks. Uh, just punching it out, really. Trying to get get a sense of like what, what the lighting will be like. Um, punching out some of the elements. Uh, I felt like I needed to make the... Uh, the antagonist character, the bad guy, I guess, um, a little bit stronger than I than I uh, had in the thing because it wasn't really looking um, very developed. So I just put in a couple details just so it would hold a little bit of color dodge there. I think yeah, you could see that um, I'm popping out some of those colors. Uh, it's very difficult for me to to get like unique colors going, so I just. I just kind of work in my um, desaturated, desaturated colors, and then I try to punch them out using various little tricks, uh, such as color dodge. I use like um, adjustment layers, those those sort of things. Um, by the way, this is this is still really like one layer, maybe maybe two layers. Um, I usually paint freely, and that means that if I'm thinking about what layer I'm on and all these things they just kind of slow me down so tend not to do that um, just try to take it very naturally and not not very seriously there's definitely better better approaches to a painting if you have something in mind I kinda go into these things I don't I don't really know what I'm gonna do try to kinda create a an interesting atmosphere most of the time I'm just going for for atmosphere and for an interesting flow and about like in the middle of it I'm trying to develop more of uh, the story more of the uh, more of the content really um, you could kind of see I'm, I'm putting in the, the swords and uh, I just really needed a, a f an element that I could use to kind of show scale somewhat and to kind of lead the eye through the painting. I think I, I took it out a couple times. I, I played around with a couple of different elements. I put in a moose. <laughs> um, I think I put in a goat at one point. Yeah, just things that uh, I felt like would be, um, would really sell kind of the scene. 
and the environment I was thinking like okay this is kind of deserty mountainy you know maybe what what kind of fauna what kind of um, animals can I put in there things like that just just to just to sell it a little bit sell the idea that you you actually are there um, it's the little things I always find that it's um, it's always this the small things that that really get me to kind of suspend disbelief um, put in a little bit of snow at the top that's like one of those things where I'm kind of breaking the uh, the, little, the boundaries a little bit like it's a desert or a mountain or something there probably shouldn't be too much too much snow there um, but I, I felt like there, there needed to be some sort of a break in the composition a break in the in the color scheme and and white seemed to be um, kind of the way I was I was gonna do that and uh, you can see that it kind of shows up on the, the main character um, on the snowy mountaintop, uh, later on it'll be the swords. I'm putting them in now. You see, I, I changed my mind here. I put in a goat. Um, I'm gonna take that out later uh, in the video. As I try to develop him, uh, I run into a lot of problems with this moose because he 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 really has the same color scheme as the rocks. He has the same texture as the rocks. There's really nothing separating him. So um, yeah, I'm I'm constantly trying to figure out a um, way to, to separate him out. So I'm kind of pumping in greens into the to the cave, uh, some purples here and there. Uh, but eventually I give up and say that he's just he's just too much the same and uh, I use like a little bit of a dirty trick here um, I just kind of lasso him and I put in um, either a fog brush or a, a blurry brush and I just kind of knock him knock him forward and knock his surroundings back um, kind of a cheap trick uh, but here it is. Uh, it works. I think I just desaturated the uh, the background a little bit. Didn't really do too much. But it, it, it kind of works. Like you could you could see him starting to pop out. Um, still not like the most uh, visible element. I felt like it would be okay. You know, leave him in there. Because uh, I killed the goat. I, I just destroyed the goat. I was very very happy with it for a while but then I was like well it's not really meshing with it and it's like it's kinda taking away from the main character which is also white and I was kinda hoping to kinda get a theme going but um, changed my mind and uh, you kinda see me put in the um, the raven with the similar color scheme as the the goat was and the main character and I thought that was that was pretty good had to get a reference for the skull and the trees uh, and the bird, of course, because uh, birds are still kind of a mystery to me, mystery animals. Um, but it worked out in the end. I'm a bit stubborn when using reference. I try to, I try to do at least one pass where I try to do it by myself, but I'll eventually use a, a reference of some sort. It might not be the exact one that I'm drawing but it, it might just just to get some ideas of what it could look like ah here we go I'm doing a little bit of cleanup work here just punching in this cave I really wanted to create like a kind of depth to the to the painting and that might um, crazy colors you can see some purples some browns in there some greens uh, meshing together some stalagmites sort of just elements that kind of make it look like there's a there's a serious crevasse there and he's, he's heading into the darkness that sort of thing 
So yeah, by the end you could kind of tell that this is kind of a conflict uh, happening. There's a main character and a, I guess, <laughs> evil character. Um, there's a little bit of tension. And I think I accomplished some things in this one and hopefully I can uh, take what I've learned and put it into the next one. Um, anyway guys, thank you guys for um, coming by and thanks for listening. Uh, it's kind of a new thing um, that I'm doing. I'm not sure if it's uh, a good idea. So uh, let me know um, in the comments if uh, you think this is, you know, interesting to you. Uh, if you'd like more voiceovers or just just the regular music. Um, it's a bit unscripted, but it was kind of fun to do. Um, so yeah, if you like it, let me know. And uh, thanks again for watching.